Today, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will visit the Centrepoint charity to highlight the problem of people sleeping rough. The visit by William and Kate comes as new figures are released about the rising number of homeless people and the associated health risks. Research suggests living rough can take an average of 30 years off your life. Well, with us now is uh, Carly O'Burn, who spent nearly four years himself uh, sleeping rough and uh, now works as a counsellor in that area, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Is there, I mean, how does it come that, that people have no choice but to be on the streets, particularly in winter or Christmas time? Um, first of all, I'd like to say um, my experience of homelessness wasn't um, throughout um, sleeping rough. I had uh, experiences that uh, sofa surfing, which is like sleeping at friends' houses and um, sleeping on buses. But my, um, the majority of the four years that I was homeless, I was sheltered, so I was in sheltered accommodation for homeless people. But there's, there's a lot of issues. What bring behind people becoming homeless is issues like um, divorce and family breakdown and obviously money problems and not being able to pay rent and there's just there's, there's a million reasons why people do end up homeless and it's not set down to one thing so it, it, it ranges from a lot so <laughs> and when, when you talk about, uh, about homelessness accommodation sheltered accommodation um, does that mean that it is possible to avoid uh, sleeping rough with the yeah, in certain situations it is, um, but a lot of those charities that do provide accommodation um, are losing their funding, and I think that's probably why they, um, the figures are rising at the moment, and there's a lot of uh, charities that are doing amazing things at the moment, but which just don't have the funding to be housing and supporting these people, and it's, it would just get worse if they aren't given the funding, to be honest. And, and throughout the period that you were homeless, uh, I mean, were you trying to work? Were you looking for work? Or, you know, yeah, I was trying to work, and um, obviously it's difficult when you're living by yourself, and especially at a young age as well. Uh, but I was I was lucky enough to get um, a lot of support. I had a, my own support worker in my hostel because I lived in a in the West London YMCA, which most people know the YMCA as 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 a song, but it isn't really that. Um, they 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 provide supporting um, supported housing. And I lived in the West London YMCA and we had a support officer and they supported you into getting jobs and volunteering. So I volunteered for them and I was doing a lot of youth work, charity work for them until I found employment. Because there is a problem that not having an address in itself can be a problem, you know, yeah. getting, getting, getting work, getting back into the system. Yeah, because a lot of homeless people do try to find jobs for obviously not having a, a home to, to go to or not, not having a home to give an address in interviews is very difficult to get a job and also a lot of them are from countries where they haven't got the greatest English, so um, it is quite difficult to get a job for them. You talked about becoming homeless at a, at a young age, yeah. Khaled, and we've got this, these new figures out today that almost 70,000 children are going to wake up in, on Christmas Day in temporary accommodation. Yeah. Um, what kind of impact does that have? The emotional scars of that must be huge as well. Yeah, it must be very difficult for a lot of those young people, a lot of the children, because obviously, um, they're growing up in school where a lot of their friends have stable backgrounds or living in sort of big houses and they're talking about the presents that they're getting on Christmas and how um, how their life is at home and then that young person might have difficulties outside of um, home as well in school or whatever but they've got to go home to a, a tiny little room what they're sharing with a lot of people where it's very difficult um, living so it is very difficult for those young people but it's just about really supporting them and raising their awareness and giving them opportunities. Also figures out today talking about uh, the health implications of homelessness and life expectancy. Homeless men dying at an average of 47 years yeah. and homeless women at 43. That's 30 yeah. years sooner than those who have a permanent home. Does that surprise yeah. you? That doesn't surprise me at all. You've got to remember that they're, they're sleeping outside. A lot of people, your experience of, of this bit of cold that we get in, in, in the winter in the UK is you walking from your house to the bus, the warm bus or the train, to work and then you go work and then you go home and you repeat that and then you go home to a warm home and a lot of those people they complain oh it's freezing out there but you've got to remember you've got a home to, to sleep in and there's people spending 24 hours in that freezing cold and that's obviously going to bring health implications on and, and drugs and alcohol are big problems yeah. of course yeah that's I, I wouldn't say that's the the main problem because there is a big stigma on um a lot of homeless people that they're drug addicts they're um, alcoholics and that does bring on a lot of people looking down on them, but I it is think quite a problem. The research is saying that yeah. that accounts yeah. for around and that, and, and so how, how did how did you, you you get out of the cycle of homelessness? I got out of it through my volunteering and the help that I received through 
um, charities like the YMCA I was volunteering for charities like um, B and the Dane Telly Homes Trust and I also started raising awareness I'd done um, sort of sleeping rough to raise money for um, I've raised money for Centre Point I've done that with um, V where we, we raised money and just through volunteering and getting um, I, I didn't have ambition when I was young I didn't see myself as going very far but through the volunteering that I'd done I, I sort of got a very ambitious, ambitious I knew what I wanted to do in my life and I just got involved in a lot of activities. Now I'm a youth worker working for young people going into high schools, youth clubs. And, and people uh, watching this, uh, obviously at Christmas people think about people being homeless, less fortunate than themselves. What, what can they do? Um, you don't You don't have to necessarily give money. If you can't give money at the, at, at the present time, you can go out there, you can um, donate clothes, you can donate your time. Um, I think just a lot of young, a lot of people need to raise awareness and actually speak to homeless people. I hear a lot of people say, oh, homeless people, they don't try enough, they're lazy, they're bums, da, da, da. Have you spoke to a homeless person? Have you sat down and spoke to them and seen the reason behind why they're there? I do it all the time. When I see a homeless person, I, I have a little chat with them. I say, hey, where are you that from? That's the question I should be giving them money. Yeah, um, you, you should as well. If you, if you can, you should give, give what you can because if nobody did, if everybody did have that stigma on them, that, oh, they're going to go buy a beer, then nobody will. But if you, if you have that, that, um, sense in your head that oh they might go buy a beer go take them to kfc buy them buy the buy them a chicken burger and, and watch them eat it because they're hungry and they need it so um i just think it's, it's, it's something that we, we do need to raise the awareness and it's, it's, it is a big issue okay. and for, for anybody out there just because uh, i don't get opportunity like this all the time could i just say if anybody is passionate about this subject and what i talk about what i do if you could follow me on twitter which is at college youth work at k-h-a-l-i-d youth work okay thank you. great thank you very much very good.